Do you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah. Do it again. Did it sound good? Yeah. Do it again. Huh, where are you going? Should daddy do it? Yeah. Okay, ready? How's that look? Yeah. Hey y'all. My name's Ryan, I'm Anna's dad. I built uh, her little O-set to be a very fast little bike. So let me show you some cool clips of her ripping around and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what I did to build this thing. It really doesn't take a lot to make these things wicked fast. So enjoy the clips of uh, Anna ripping on this thing. I saw. I saw you. You were going so fast, huh? Good job. Whoa! Woohoo! Anna, get it. Watch the gate. Go! <laughs> Woo! Go! 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 Go, go, go! Nice! Sunshine! He's coming! He's coming! You gotta go fast, Anna! Go fast! Good job! Hey, Anna, come back around! Good job, Anna! Go, go, go! Hey, you did it! You figured it out! Good job! Alright, so as you can see, this thing is wicked fast. Now, before I tell you what I built, let me make it clear. Your kid has to be ready for this, okay? Um, they have to know what they're getting into if, if you're going to build something like this. Um, it, this is not for a beginner rider doing this this kind of modification. Uh, the only reason we did this for Anna is because we've been watching her very closely and she has been very conservative and careful with her throttle control. Um, that and she has a very thorough understanding of braking. Oh, that's the other thing. The OSET has a front and rear disc brake and man, when this thing wants to stop, take a look at the video clip here, it wants to stop. Both brakes, both brakes. Nice job. When your kid is at the stage where they are limited by their hardware, hardware and you want them to advance their skills to the next level, this is a really good way to accomplish that. So um, the heart of this, the <laughs> so uh, the heart of this upgrade is the 18650 battery cell. This is a lithium ion uh, battery, and there's a bunch of them in this battery pack. So this is it. Uh, if you've never built a lithium ion battery pack before, uh, it is possible to DIY them. I built mine, and it took a huge amount of learning. Uh, looking back now, I probably wish I would have paid someone to build one that has a lot more experience and better tools. Um, something to consider if you're going to do this, but this is a 10S6P LiPo pack. 
So what that means is it is 10 in series, six parallel. So 10 of these in a line and then six of them deep. So these are 3.7 volt cells in the, uh, at their nominal voltage. At full charge, they're 4.2. That makes this a 42 volt battery at full charge. That's like no joke compared to the 24 volt stock. That's wicked, wicked amounts of power. And you can see it in the video, this thing just rips. It absolutely goes when you get on it. Your kids gotta be ready for this. Uh, when you when you build one like this, it's it's a serious bike. This is like it's probably not got a higher top speed than a PW50, but I've never seen a PW50 do a standing start wheelie with the front tire barely spinning. This thing would out accelerate just about everything. Probably not the uh, KTM 50, the Cobra 50, uh, but I haven't seen anything able to put down the power like that in this size range. So this thing is a fantastic deal to bridge the gap between the, the little, little electrics and the, the KTM uh, Cobra 50cc uh, mini bikes. Your kids gotta be ready for it. Uh, man, don't hurt your kids. Don't do this expecting your kid to win races. Just don't do it. And on that note, man, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna try and have your kid um, expand their capabilities and teach them, be graceful and gentle when you teach them. Don't be hard on them. Just let them have fun. I, I see it a lot, and I, I could rant about this all day. I won't. But let your kids have fun. Let them, let them go out there and enjoy their time with their friends. Let them make friends. Don't make them hate racing. Don't make them hate you because you yell at them because they missed a corner or they didn't get on their brakes or they went wide and didn't get the inside line. Just have fun. That's all I'll say about that. Back to the back to the bike. So this is a 10S 6P Lipo Pack. This is, I think, about the best you could fit in this space, um, realistically. I'm, I mean, sure, there's a little bit of dead space. Maybe you could get a little bit more. Um, so the traditional way to assemble a lipo pack, I'll, I'll throw up a picture here, but the traditional way is to line them up all in a straight line and then run your nickel strips along them. What I ended up building is essentially two 5S batteries with a bridge connecting them, and then I folded them in half and put them back to back. That way, this thing's not mega long, uh, 10 of these long, plus the, the spacers, right? So it was so close. You could maybe get a 9S to fit like at an angle line here, um, all in a straight line, but it's just not worth it. The side-by-side the -side works perfect. The battery's the one aspect. Swapping the battery is not hard. The controller is also not hard. It is very easy to wire. I'll, I'll link the... Um, the factory um, assembly drawing, their little uh, layout. Um, this is a Kelly DC brushed motor controller. So this one is programmable by the PC, so it has more capability to be tuned than the, the little uh, the little two knob OSET version. So the OSET version is fine. However, this one cannot accept voltage out of its uh, stock parameter. So this guy's got to go if you're going to do this. Yeah, it, it even uses the stock pulse sensor on the throttle, so a super easy swap. The motor though, that motor is not built for 42 volts, it's built for 24. So that thing should be fine running 24 volts at full, you know, wide open forever. Uh, this one has a limited time that it can handle 42 volts before it gets extremely hot. I've never taken it beyond hotter than I can touch. It's gotten very warm, but not too hot to the touch. The way we work around that is we just keep, you know, two gallon jugs of water and we just keep them in our ice box and we just dump water on it. And it's a sealed motor so you just throw the water on it, let it cool down, and let it rip again. Um, that's track dependent though. When uh, when Anna got onto the Big Kids Stadium cross track, which has way more uh, ups and downs, way more full throttle stuff, uh, it gets hotter quicker. Um, at full use, it's probably like five or ten minutes of riding before you got to throw water at it. So, tailor this to the uh, track, right? So you can throw other motors into these things, it's just more complicated. Um, the mounting pattern for the bolt pattern is gonna be different, so you're gonna maybe need a new motor plate. Having gone that route, haven't had an issue with the heating yet. Um, we just throw water at it. And if you're at home, just throw the hose on it. It's really not that big a deal. Yeah, so for us, this is gonna be the bridge to the next platform. Yeah, in the meantime though, this thing is wicked fast. I hope you enjoy the video, and if you build this, uh, let me know. I'd love to see other people build it and see what they accomplish. So that's going to be it. Have fun out there. See ya.